to see the stuff coming out of the towers and go, okay, is that poisonous? How does stuff grow around there? Is it damaging the river? I had no idea. When people ask me about misperceptions or we talk about miscommunication that involves the plant, the most obvious is the vapor that comes out of the water towers. It's just that. It's water vapor. The vapor that's coming out of the cooling tower does not come in contact with any radioactive source. It's truly really just condensation based off of us producing steam to make energy. The water that you see coming out of the top of a cooling tower at a nuclear plant is very similar to the water that you would see coming out of any type of industrial facility. In order to produce electricity, you've got to get the water so hot that it's super condensed steam. Well, you eventually have to cool it back down in order to bring it back up to create that electricity and that energy. So the cooling tower, all that's doing is providing the cooling medium to cool the exhaust from the main turbine. It allows us to take river water and use it to cool some of the equipment on the secondary side of the plant. It goes in through the steam cycle, basically it gets heated up and then it goes through a condenser which removes the heat from it and then it ends up with you have vapor coming out of the cooling towers. You can see just coming out of the fog here behind it, the Unit 2 cooling tower. That's a 535-foot chimney, essentially. Air comes in underneath the chimney, comes up and interacts with the water, which is now being pumped up and sprayed out into the interior of that cooling tower. When the interior of the cooling tower then cools that water down, most of the water falls back down into the basin, which is then pumped back into the condenser, and the whole process starts all over again. Some of it, though, comes out the top in essentially what is a big cloud. About 6,000 gallons per hour comes out the top of that cooling tower. That same condensation generally will rain out in the same watershed that we're creating. The amazing thing about all of this process and all of that electricity is it's completely clean. There is nothing coming out of the plant, there's nothing coming out of the cooling tower except pure water vapor. In fact, it's actually cleaner than when it came out of the river to begin with. We monitor everything that gets released into the atmosphere, into the river, to make sure that it is safe for the environment and safe for the public. I've been in those cooling towers. I've seen the water pipes and watched the water be taken up by the pipes and sprayed down and watched the steam come off of that. And it's an amazing feat of engineering for someone to have figured out how to do that and do it efficiently. People make opinions about stuff all the time, and sometimes it's easier to make an opinion without knowing the facts. If it wasn't a safe place to be and if it wasn't safe to go where we were going today, people wouldn't work here.